Imagine being told your country could never build a world-class fighter jet, then watching your technology become the backbone of training for the world's best pilots. In the 1990s, Italy was dismissed as a junior partner in aerospace, while the US, UK, and Russia dominated the trainer jet market with the T-38, Hawk, and Yak-130. The experts said, Italy can only build parts, not complete aircraft. Let the big players handle the real jets. But then, against all odds, Ermaki built the M346. And suddenly, Israel, Singapore, and Poland were training their elite pilots in an Italian jet. This is the story of how Italy went from being dismissed as a follower to setting the global standard for fighter pilot training, and how the M346 became the underdog jet that beat the giants. After digging through official M346 program records, export contracts, and pilot testimonials, I found a transformation that will change how you see military aviation. While everyone focused on American and Russian trainers, Italy was quietly building a jet that would train F-35, Eurofighter, and Rafale pilots for the next generation. What you're about to see is how a junior partner became the world's leader in advanced pilot training. In the 1990s and early 2000s, Italy's aerospace industry was dismissed as a junior partner. Good for building parts, but never the whole jet. The US dominated with the T-38 and T-6, the UK with the Hawk, and Russia with the Yak-130. When the joint Yak-AEM-130 project split in 2000, most experts assumed Italy would quietly fade away. The market was brutal. Why would anyone buy an Italian trainer when you can get a proven American, British, or Russian jet? Even in Europe, the Alphajet and Hawk were entrenched. Italy's own partners doubted they could go it alone. But Air Maki refused to accept the junior partner label. They set out to prove that Italy could build a jet as advanced as anything from the US or Russia. What nobody realized was that Italy was about to leapfrog the competition with technology the giants hadn't even fielded yet. On July 15, 2004, the M346 took its first flight, and everything changed. This wasn't just another trainer. It was a digital, fly-by-wire, twin-engine jet with a cockpit that looked like a fifth-generation fighter. The M346 introduced the Embedded Tactical Training System, ETTS, simulating threats and weapons in real time. It pioneered live, virtual constructive, LVC training blending real and simulated aircraft for safe, cost-effective, and realistic missions. The ground-based training system, GBTS, created a complete ecosystem for pilot development. Suddenly, Italy had a jet that could prepare pilots for F-35s, Eurofighters, F-16, and Rafales, and do it at a fraction of the cost and risk of using frontline fighters. The world's air forces started to notice. This junior partner had built a trainer that could do what the Giants' jets couldn't. The real vindication came when the world's most demanding air forces started choosing the M346 over American, British, and Russian rivals. Israel picked the M346 for its LAVI program, training F-35 pilots with over 50,000 flight hours logged. Singapore selected it to prepare F-15 and F-16 pilots. Poland adopted it as the backbone of their modern training, and Greece, Qatar, and Turkmenistan followed. By 2025, 159 M346s had been ordered and 103 delivered, beating out the T-38, Hawk, and Yak-130 in head-to-head -head competitions. The junior partner was now the global leader. The M346 wasn't just a trainer, it was the jet that trained the world's best fighter pilots, from the F-35 to the Eurofighter and Rafale. The underdog had become the standard everyone else had to match. The M346's success didn't stop at training. Italy developed the M346FA, a light fighter variant with radar, weapons, and a 3,000 kilogram payload, challenging even established combat jets. The M346's specs are world-class. Mach 0.95, 45,000 feet ceiling, sustained 8G turns, 
digital glass cockpit with six MFDs, HUD, HOTAS, and HMD. The ETTS and LVC systems set global standards for advanced pilot training. In Israeli service alone, the M346 has flown over 50,000 hours, training pilots for the world's most advanced fighters. Italy's technology is now setting the global benchmark for what a trainer jet can be. From junior partner to global leader in just two decades, the world's best pilots are now trained in Italian jets, and the giants are playing catch up. The M346's story is more than just a technical triumph. It's a national vindication. From Da Vinci's sketches to modern jets, Italy's aeronautical heritage is now recognized worldwide. Israel, Singapore, and Poland didn't just buy a jet, they chose Italian technology to shape their future fighter pilots. The M346's export success technical leadership, and training excellence have made Italy the global standard bearer for advanced pilot training. The underdog victory is complete. Italy, once dismissed as a junior partner, now trains the world's best fighter pilots and sets the standards others must follow. If this transformation story inspired you, hit that subscribe button and ring the notification bell. Your support helps me uncover more stories of how innovation and national pride can overturn decades of doubt. Do you think the M346 proves that underdogs can set global standards? Or is this just the beginning of Italy's leadership in military aviation? Let me know your thoughts in the comments, because this debate about who shapes the future of flight is just getting started. Remember, the next time someone calls your country a junior partner, they might be watching you train the world's best.